Hey, what's up, people? Welcome back. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm TJ. This is T's time. This is Percy the Van we're standing in today. Uh, today, we're going to add sprinkles onto uh, the icing uh, with our fireplace and also our subwoofer is getting mounted. Uh, in the last video, we did our floor install. So today, I'm going to finish up uh, the floor in this area anyway. Get this situated. I have to make room, get this clutter out of the way. Uh, so, uh, Today, uh, important step is to uh, mount them to the floor so that they don't slide. Uh, the lightproof flooring is very uh, slick. <laughs> like stuff wasn't sliding how it was sliding uh, before the, the floor went in. Uh, so I do have lag bolts. I plan on having everything like bolted down. Uh, so uh, we have to figure out that, get that situated. Uh, I plan on drilling holes in the bottom of the legs of the fireplace. Like in here, uh, somehow just get it marked anyway. And I do have washers, uh, so we're gonna have to put this in place. Uh, I'm gonna flip this upside down to see if there's like enough room for me to drill something into it. Uh, and then we're gonna mark the holes onto uh, this little uh, panel piece right here using our multi surface. Uh, green tape that I was using before just so we can actually see uh, where the marks are for our holes that need to be drilled uh, So I'm gonna lay that down and also we need to figure out uh, Like under the light proof flooring like I made like the little trim like I have it insulated uh, But there are planks and there are other screws under it that I don't want to run into uh, So I'm gonna need to just make sure like we're not gonna have any interference with that stuff uh, But right now I just need to make room pretty much just get this stuff out of my way and we'll be ready to go and get in like at least this portion of the floor done and this will kind of be like the test to see how i like uh like the trim i have right here to go around the edges uh so this is gonna go like around the seams to clean up the edges and then there's like an opening at the end of the piece like once you cut it like right there and i plan on just filling that in with like some uh caulk uh, so I'll clean up that edge so you don't really see uh, that big hole. Uh, yeah, but uh, that's the game plan. We're going to see how this goes. Uh, let's make room, get stuff prepped, and get this installed. Okay, so now that that's separated, uh, the plan is to drill maybe like a hole or maybe like even just two. Uh, same purpose for this, it's just to keep it from like uh, sliding and rotating. So I probably need at least like two of the lag bolts to go through it. Uh, so we have these lag bolts, they're an inch long. Uh, that's what we're using right there. Uh, so right now, all I really need to do, there's some wires in here. Uh, we just wanna make sure we don't drill through those. Like that's the important like that right here uh so you're gonna drill and then you're gonna have to go in and i do have like a 90 degree a uh, bit like right here uh this right here uh, we'll put our adapter on for our lag bolt and all we have to do is just put it in with an extension and just uh mount that uh but in order for us to get that we need to drill our holes first where we want our holes to be and then go from there with a uh, masking tape down uh put this in place where it's gonna live and then just draw like a permanent marker on the tape uh so that way we just know where to drill through and like with the lag bolts you definitely need to drill uh pilot holes beforehand depending on the diameter of your bolt because it will split wood and whatever you're using like with the vinyl probably definitely will crack and split if you don't do your uh your holes so the holes need to probably just be just big enough so i'm using uh was it one a quarter inch uh so we just needed to be uh wide enough for it to actually have something to bite on so what i usually do i just take out like the bolts and i usually just match them up to a drill bit that's like within range where it still has threads all right and i think i'm three sixteenths will do it like when you line it up you see how the threads are still hanging out like once you drill so it has just enough to bite on where not like enough to grip but not to damage like the panels that you're going through uh so even for uh like the subwoofer i could actually do a larger hole uh, because we have that much is going to be going through 
Uh, so that way you don't have like binding when you try to get it to sit like flush into uh, on the ground. Uh, so that hole could be bigger than the thread pitch on this just for the simple fact of uh, ease of install and just kind of making sure like that or even like the wood that it's made out of will actually probably uh, be the weak point. So that will probably let loose before the floor. Uh, but just to prevent that, make that hole. These two holes are going to be wider than the actual uh, bolt itself, the lag bolt. Uh, so that way it just sits in there and we just have to worry about mounting it to the actual floor So it's gonna sit through the floor like so just to keep it in place And that's the simple purpose of these lag bolts But uh, let's get that and then also when I reassemble like I can throw out like some uh, glue or even some uh, RTV in these holes just to kind of keep it in there uh, like they use uh, look like glue from like a hot glue gun uh, so we're just gonna make sure we put something in there just to keep it uh, good and yeah, so I'll drill and then I'll vacuum that out just to make sure we're good with that. And uh, yeah, so to the drilling for this, not for the fireplace. And we'll get masking tape and we'll clean up our dust and vacuum, clean this up. And then we'll get our trim pieces around uh, the edges first. So that way we don't have to worry about trying to reach behind uh, the fireplace and the subwoofer. Everything's exposed and easy to get to now. So I'm going to do that. But uh, yeah. So what I'm doing, I'm using a, a smaller drill bit as a pilot. Uh, that's just so I can actually uh, test to see like if I'm gonna run into any uh, screws that are under the floor. Uh, so that way the hole is small enough where you won't notice it. And then even with the subwoofer, if I have to relocate it, uh, sliding it is gonna, the subwoofer is gonna cover the hole. And then for uh, where the fireplace is uh, gonna live, I did uh, the trace of the outline like so. And then once uh, we drill through that and the bolt sits there, uh, with the washer on there, it will be on the plastic peg, so keep that in place going to all four corners. Uh, so right now I'm just going to drill these uh, pilot holes to see how they land. Uh, and if they land in the right spot, I'm going to go through and I'm going to drill with uh, the 3 16 uh, drill bit because I'm using uh, a quarter inch uh, lag bolts. So it'll be just enough where I shouldn't have to worry about uh, things splitting like the vinyl flooring. That would suck even though I have other pieces. And... Uh, the, well, that's the only thing we really have to worry about splitting up. That's what I'm concerned about is the vinyl plank flooring. Uh, so let me get these uh, pilot holes drilled and hopefully uh, we don't hit any uh, screws. Uh, I could check by lifting the vinyl floor, but like it's already in the spot where I want it to live. So I don't want to like uh, disturb it. So I'm going to leave it and just going to uh, cross my fingers and see how lucky I am. So uh, you can comment below to see or uh, guess if I'm going to mess up right now and have to like slide and shift everything over or what. But uh, cross your fingers. Okay, so we got lucky. I didn't run into any interference. Uh, what I did with the masking tape is just for the depth of the lag bolt. Uh, you could just match it up and then just put the tape so you know like how deep you could drill. Uh, so that's the purpose of that. Uh, so everything is drilled. I just need to clean this up and we're going to get our trim pieces around the border uh, situated. Uh, and then once that stuff is situated, we'll get our... Uh, subwoofer and we'll get our fireplace mounted so uh yeah all right uh so the trim piece is around the frame they're in, uh, it's pretty easy to install. I just went around with like denatured alcohol just to prep the surface to make sure that there was anything that's gonna keep uh, the double stick tape from adhering. That and then also just a little heat. It says on the instructions to uh, put heat on the, like the strips itself if it's about below 20 degrees. Uh, it's not that cold today, but I added a little heat to the floor. Uh, so it sticks on pretty good. Like it's actually like if you pull on it, like it's lifting a little. Uh, lifting the floor a little 
Uh, and I left this extra piece overhang a little bit because I have to do a, a trim. I'm gonna do like the 90 degree that's, uh, well, this stuff right here, that's gonna be on the edge to finish that up. Uh, so I just need to figure out exactly where it's gonna come out, like when the 90 comes out and I have to cut around and trim to make sure like it all fits in there nice. Uh, so then once I get that clean edge of where it's going to come out to, I'm going to just uh, cut that flush. And then, like I said, I'm going to throw some caulk in the end just to close up the hole so it doesn't you don't see that hole. Uh, but right now, I'm going to throw uh, the subwoofer in the, the fireplace. We're going to get that stuff mounted uh, because the outside trim is 90 degree right here. Like that could be done at a later date after I get this, uh, the, the main stuff uh, mounted. But like I just want to get this stuff the little uh, panel trim installed just before like everything was installed because like that it would just be annoying trying to install that with like the fireplace and subwoofer there just in the way uh, so it's best to do it we have room so uh, let me go grab uh, the fireplace we'll get that put in our subwoofer put in and we'll be nearing the end of this <laughs> actually get that uh, extra trim piece that's in the front let me get that on and then we'll call it so uh, let me get that situated and bada boom bada bang it's it installed it's finished I just put this final little strip in right here so we got our strips going all the way around and like I said with the openings I'm gonna just throw some uh, white silicone or white caulk inside of those just to close up those holes make it look a little cleaner uh, but it's on it's operational everything is sturdy uh, so nothing's gonna be sliding around nothing is gonna be moving so it acts as a space heater. It goes up to 80 something degrees. Uh, it also doubles as if you just want to have the logs going. You don't have to actually have the space heater going, but it's like an infrared uh, space heater. Uh, the only downside with this is the fact that it consumes so much energy. It's kind of just like if the AC was on. Uh, so luckily, like it's on a thermostat base. So once it reaches that temperature, it'll cut out. Uh, but right now, if you go pick that up, that's sucking up uh, over 1300 watts. Uh, so that is not conducive to saving power and energy, uh, but it is nice to have backups uh, for your heat supply. Like the AC unit itself, it has like a heat coil in it also. So we have a heat coil up here. Uh, we have this as our infrared space heater and then also our diesel heater uh, that comes out, the heat comes out down there. Uh, so we have like three different sources for heat. Uh, last resort will be a little electrical just because it sucks up so much juice. But just depending on like if something happens with a diesel heater, if you need some heat to go in here, if you got if you're you get sunlight in the winter time, but there's not too much sun in the in the winter time. Uh, but we have options, and this is just kind of just to make it like relaxing and chill in here, especially like if we have our uh, our stars. Let's see if I can find this remote for you. So we have like our stars going. Cut this off. You know, it just makes it like a little bit more relaxing in here. And let me see if I get those flames going. So you have that, like your little flames, like the space heater is actually going right now. But like you cut it off, you have your like your lights that the stars are blinking at night, then you have your, like your fire going uh, without an actual fire. Uh, so yeah, uh, the little uh, details. Uh, so last week we did our floors. That was the icing on the cake. Uh, this is the the sprinkles on the icing off the elbow. Uh, but anyways, I appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for following along with the progress of Percy the Van here. Uh, we're definitely at that point where it's done-ish. I'm just cleaning it up just kind of like we did our trim. I didn't finish doing trim like around all the miscellaneous pieces that you see here. Uh, but we'll get it done. But uh, thank you. Uh, 
So until the next one, until the next one, I don't know, motivate yourself to do something different. If you ever thought about doing something, might as well do it because you won't know unless you try. Peace, DJ.